Today on the Pro-Life Podcast, you hear a lot of hate for being a parent, but we have some celebrities who love being a parent. We're going to talk about this. Let's get started. Happy Thursday, Pro-Life family. Welcome to the table. We're talking about happy things. I don't get to say that often. Yay. I'm fresh from drive through with my coffee and my friends at the table. Hey, guys. Man. Hi, Kim Schwartz, Director of Media and Communication. Bailey Barton, Development Associate. Frank Hungerman, IT Director and Coffee Junkie. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm, so we talked before about a lot of kind of shout your abortion celebrities mm-hmm. and it's always such a downer and I'm happy that we've found some stories of people who celebrities who are like happy they're a parent. Yeah. Yeah. Just being a parent is awesome. It's kind it of like surprising reading these celebrity takes on parenthood because you can kind of assume that like if you're talking about celebrities like you can kind of just assume that they're all going to be pro abortion. I don't know the positions of the people that we're going to talk about today necessarily but like hollywood anything pop culture you can just assume it's going to be super anti-life but you see this like uh juxtaposition that these people love being parents yeah. and so yep they can't deny the joy yeah so we'll take it it's true <laughs> i mean it makes you a better person we'll talk about that too yeah, yeah. so where do, we, where do we want to open with this jj Watt. jj what for the okay. sports people? It's <laughs> a <laughs> Texas fate. Well, okay. I mean, what he, sport he, is he playing? He Football. Mo- nice. I just wrote the article. <laughs> it's one. Yes, she has one. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I'll take it. So JJ Watt just celebrated his son's uh, first birthday, and it's actually really cool reading his um, perspective on being a dad. He did an interview with People Magazine. Um, Right when he was retiring from football, which I actually did not know until I was writing this article. Um, So he's retired, if anybody uh, missed that. Um, He retired um, late last year, beginning of this year. And um, because his son, like, was just born. And um, he was talking about just the joy of being a dad. So now that his son is one, he said, this has been the happiest year of our lives. Um, And then reflecting on fatherhood, it says, um, it's changed me in so many ways. It's a love that I never knew I could have. And it just makes you see the world in a different light. Your perspective changes, your priorities change, and your marriage changes. I look at my wife in an even more beautiful light now, watching her be a mother to our beautiful son. That's so sweet. Isn't that wholesome? (laughs) That's the thing that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And things kind of come in pairs, too. So we had J.J. Watt with his awesome take on fatherhood. And then, like, at the same time, Daniel Radcliffe uh, came out with another base take. That was another article, um, live action, posted. And it was an interview. um, Daniel Radcliffe uh, and his girlfriend had a son back in April. He was talking about, it's awesome. I think a lot of people said, like, you just get through the first six months, and after that it gets better. But I've really enjoyed the first six months. Like, I don't know what I imagined, but honestly, it's great. He's incredible. And I'm just like in awe. It's like, well, yeah. And it's, there's pictures of him, you know, they're the whole strike thing going on with the actors. And he's just carrying his son walking through with this, with the rest of the actors who were on strike. And it's like cute baby pictures. And it's yeah, man, having kids, it's, it's good life. Yeah. And I think that reading this is so refreshing because I, I think that this is in a way kind of trendy now because for so long, since like the 70s, we've just been talking, our culture has been talking about how terrible having kids is and how you need to avoid kids like the plague and going into the whole abortion conversation. You need to, you know, at all costs, do not have children. Do and, what you want to do and, <laughs> you know, and then have kids later if you get around to that. Yeah. And so you have these A-list celebrities who are coming out and saying, wow, think about He's, he's even he's talking about how people were saying the six months was gonna be first yeah. six months would be hard, and he's saying this has been so nice. Right. It's just yeah. so refreshing. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's so weird. Children are a miracle. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> yeah. But I have uh, a list that you actually found that I want to quiz you on, Brent. Okay. Okay. On yeah. Twenty things that uh, twenty ways becoming a father has made him a better person. So we're yep. gonna we're gonna grill you on these here. Okay. On true or false. Uh, so, being a father made him more tender-hearted. 
This is true, especially having daughters Ooh. that will do that to you. Okay. One of my other friends said that he had when he had girls. He's like, I feel like I learned to understand, really understand pretty at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and not having kids when he said that and now having two daughters. Yeah. Yep. It's <laughs> yes. I waste less time as a dad. Oh, boy. <laughs> Three kids me thinks one kid me was a slacker, mm-hmm. and one kid me thought he had no free time. Cute. It's the the amount of things you learn to get done. Yep, you time management, man. You yeah. become a pro. Amazing. <laughs> Number three, I'm more grateful for my own parents. <laughs> uh, I have yes called mom many times and gone, yep, thanks. <laughs> And that thing, I'd, I'm sorry about that. Um, she's like, you were a good kid. I'm like, yeah, I know. Time heals wounds, apparently. Um, yeah. that No, there are dumb things I did, Mom. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you appreciate your parents a, a lot. Like, you can appreciate your parents. I'm sure you guys appreciate your parents. Yep. As you should. Yep. But hey, the, appreciation, <laughs> the appreciation is different. Okay. After having kids. Yeah. Like, Oh, they went through this. Mm. And I'm still here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I turned out a decent person. Wow. My kids gonna my kids might make it. Wow. <laughs> you know? Man, how beautiful. All right. This one, I rely on God more. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And related, I'm praying more than ever before. Also true. These two things are related. And yes, they are true because there's a lot of things that will be challenges. Gosh, raising children in this culture. Um, there's a lot of things you're not going to have answers for and you're going to have to seek God for that. Yep. So and I advise that you do. Um that's the easiest way to find those answers. Well, there you Imagine. go. But it can be like a good perspective too. Like I, I think most of the time when we talk about God, it's like, okay, when I don't have it, um, it's like, oh, you pray when you don't have it. You need to pray when you do have it too, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yep. all the things, gratitude to the Lord, yeah. um, but yeah. also Jesus take the wheel straight up. Yep, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, number six, I love life a thousand times more. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Doing stuff with your kids is awesome. Oh, having kids to do stuff with is awesome. Like, they're fun. They are. They're fun. Sweet. All right. Uh, my future revolves. My future revolves around my family. Yeah, you consider a lot of um, what the legacy you're leaving okay. it becomes very important. Nice. All right. Number eight on twenty ways that being a dad has changed you would change you. I'm more childish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go back and you, you do goofy stuff and play with your kids more. And um, probably prime example, bedtime stories in my house have become a voice acting adventure. Ah. <laughs> um, they, the, the girls got to where they didn't want mom to read books. <laughs> <laughs> um, my son is very like, no, dad, this is our thing. Every night, good Lord, it turns into... A half hour some nights, and I was like, just go to bed. He's like, but I need another. It's like, okay, fine. Wow. Because I'm a sucker because reading and it's time with my kid, right? So I'm a sucker and I do more goofy books. And my wife is just laughing at me because she's like, well, yeah, they want you to do it because there's (laughs) a stage performance happening upstairs and it's funny. There you go. So there you go. Number nine, I want to be a protector. Absolutely, yes. Sweet. Love it. Number 10, I've grown more humble. Yeah, because you realize a lot of what you don't know. Mm. And um, what you what you don't have together in your life becomes very apparent. And yeah, it can take you down a notch in a lot of ways, too. So. Yeah, there you go. Good. Uh, number 11, I'm more responsible. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pre-kids me, not a very responsible person. Uh, I mean, okay, but it's a reasonably responsible adult for my 20s, but it's, it's different once you have children. Your, yeah. tw- your, your priorities get different, and you just, yeah, nice. weigh everything differently. Yeah. Number 12, I'm tougher. Yep. <clears throat> you have not lived till your three-year-old daughter goes, you're ruining my life. <laughs> and you're like, ow. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not getting better from that, there. <laughs> that hurts weirdly. You're three. I didn't expect that for at least another decade, but they say things and it's hurtful. And <laughs> yeah, you 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 also you emotionally toughen up. You have to it's different life, yes. Cool. I love kids more. Uh-huh. I hope so. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, you know, you like kids, but more those kids over there. I, I was not a kid person. I just it wasn't my thing. And then I had kids and went, oh, I guess I should learn to change a diaper. Yeah. Okay. I think that's an important <laughs> perspective, too, because I think people have that like, oh, well, I'm not really a kid person. And they see that a bit as a barrier into parenthood to begin with. And it's yeah. like, God can use that, like. If you're a parent, don't just be like, oh, well, uh, or like if you're in a situation, especially when we're talking about um, the abortion issue, I think people will see pregnancy and be like, well, I don't like kids. I don't want to be a parent. Mm -hmm. And then it's it's different when it's your kids. Yeah, it's very different when it's yeah. your kids. Um, I've had a lot of people say I didn't think I was going to be a good parent. I'm like, well, glad that wasn't <laughs> that it ended up being a par barrier to entry, mom. Um <laughs> Because it works out. You figure it out. Yeah. You and God, will, you'll, you'll figure it out. Number 14, I value sleep more, even though I still don't get enough. <laughs> I've just, yep. God gave us coffee for that. <laughs> Number 15, I'm more driven. Yep. Yeah. yeah um, yes, you are, you are driven to, again, make a difference in your culture, be a better person in your community. You you think about the kind of world you're leaving for your children, um, and the kind of life you're providing for your children, and it, yeah, it changes your priorities. Nice, and I think culturally too, people kind of like think, oh well, the the whenever we're talking about being driven, people usually think of it in terms of a career, and it's like, oh well, the career driven people are the ones staying at the office till 10 p.m. or whatever and working 80 hours a week. There's a better take on it. Uh, yeah. Um, the priorities have to change. Like, it's not just driven like, oh, I just need to make more money. Like, if you're career driven and you're just trying to uh, check a bunch of, you're just checking a bunch of boxes for what? Yeah. Like, why? You have more money in the bank. Cool. Are you going to go do something alone with that? Like. Yeah. Yay. Um, <laughs> no, I, I want to succeed in my community, in my spiritual life, in in my just my church community and my involvement there. And, you know, I look at involvement in uh, groups at church and go, how can I make a difference with my children's friends? And it just, yeah, priorities. You're driven to make a difference in lives, not just your bank account. Mm -hmm. That's a good take. And we have a few more, but I okay. think we need to take a break for a minute and then we will finish this list. And then we have some base takes on being a mom, right? And I'm going to yes. say, if you left that article headline on the printer, <laughs> there might have been some problems in the office. So, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Great news. Texas Right to Life is celebrating our 50th birthday this year. This is half a century of victories that the Lord has given us, but God is not done yet. The battle for life is only increasing as the abortion industry is going underground to promote death and cell abortion. Join us in supporting Texas Right to Life's 50th birthday campaign and chip in with a gift today. Thank you for 50 years of saving lives. And friend, the best is yet to come. Without warning, you or your loved one could end up in the emergency room where every second counts and your medical wishes matter more than ever. However, if your loved one doesn't have the right medical documents on hand, they may not be able to make decisions for you in a crisis. My Life Angels solves all of this by walking you through step by step in creating these important medical documents and storing them online securely for you and your family to access at any time. The service is only $7 a month, but use the link in our description for 20% off your initial subscription period. Don't let strangers make life and death decisions for you. Get the My Life Angels app today. Welcome back, friends. Um, just I'm just gonna tease this headline. Are, <laughs> are there any women that actually enjoy being a mom? It's a Reddit 
question. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Apparently, I have to finish being in the hot seat first. Yes. Uh, where where were we? we Number sixteen on okay. twenty reason, twenty ways that uh, being a dad has changed this person, or okay. it changes you in general. Yes. I'm more sensitive to injustice. Yeah, yeah, you are, because um, you. Again, you you care about the world your kids live in. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you're paying attention to what's going on in the world a little more it, it differently. Hmm. It, yeah. Nice. Well, the long-term ramifications of things. And This one is kind of countercultural. Okay. My world is exciting again. Um, I mean, I don't know what this guy's life was like before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was having fun. Um... But it's different. Like, like I have two camping trips on my calendar in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. and family stuff. And everybody's excited about it. Nice. Like, okay, we get family time. And we're going to go do stupid stuff in the woods and just hang out. And yeah, it's just, yes. Okay. Yes, I, yeah. It's just like the smaller <laughs> stuff is more exciting and fun. Yeah, that's kind of the description yeah. here. Uh, bubbles, shadows, and water are fascinating. I, <laughs> he must that is have, true. Them, his kids must be much younger, but yes. Okay. But that is true. Like, whenever you think about a, whenever there's a baby in the family, it, literally, it just turns everyone else into babies, too, because we all just true. sit around staring at the baby right. doing really silly things, and everyone's like, <laughs> yes. so cute. It's, <laughs> it's exciting. This is true. Yeah. Okay. Ryan Gag, babies would rule the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True <laughs> story. Mm -hmm. Number 18, I appreciate my wife so much more. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm short. <laughs> uh, it's differently. I wouldn't say more. Okay. Differently. Good take. Um, there's a different set of skill set that comes out that mm -hmm. you get to see. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, it, it, how your wife interacts with your children is not typically how your wife interacts with the husband good which, <laughs> that's normal um so it's a different skill set that comes out and you appreciate it very much because it's very different from yours yeah just the any situation that presents itself there are two very different perspective about how to deal with that and the balance between those two and when yours is right and when hers is right and it Neither sounds... one is always, it's not always this one side or the other. It's a hybrid of both and both are necessary. And that's Praise amazing God. in its design. Praise God for that. <laughs> he knew. Yes. Number 19, I've learned lessons that I've forgotten. Lessons like share with others, finish your food, everybody clean up, <laughs> say please and thank you and wait your turn. You know, you appreciate those things so much more. <laughs> you know, you just get in the habit of, okay, thanks. Like, but then when you're like, so thank you, mm. <laughs> you know, trying to, trying to instill that stuff in your kid. Yes. You, you, you remember that you are an example and if you're not doing it, they're, they're watching. They're going to, they know when you're being hypocritical. Mm. Yeah. It, They'll boy, call you out. It, there's always that one kid that totally will. My yeah. my middle one is like, well, but you, I'm like, mm. you got me. <laughs> not talking about me. We're talking about you. I'll address my issues later. Humility. <laughs> yes, humility, dependence Boy, on God. <laughs> yeah, there was the, one issue in particular I was complaining about. And my daughter just goes, well, have you prayed about that? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Ouch. And not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so the, your children will remind you to, to keep your stuff in order. Let's go. Oh, oh, my gosh. All right. And number 20 on how a dad, how being a dad changes you. I'm really thankful. Yes. Yes. Um, Especially this time of year, Thanksgiving is approaching. I get very like thankful for um, the blessings I have been given. Praise oh. God! I'm going to stop there Let's and not go. get 
sappy. Well, that means so. that we've all cried at some point in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started this, Bailey was crying, then I was crying. No, okay, we got bingo. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. Coffee, hi. Yeah. But it's important to have these conversations because I think a lot of times when we're talking about uh, parenthood and the benefits of parenthood. Mm-hmm. We're talking about how the child benefits from having active parents, a mm-hmm. mom and a dad in the picture. Mm-hmm. And that's great. And that's usually what we talk about. But uh, what's really missing is this idea of parents benefit from being uh, mm-hmm. taking an active role in their children's mm-hmm. lives. So we've just talked about that from the father's perspective. And we see these like celebrity takes like J.J. Watt and Daniel Radcliffe saying like, I this is awesome. Like yeah. parenthood is amazing. Um, but we need the mother's side of it too, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So Kim and I are not moms. No. But I did what anyone else would do, and I went to Reddit. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I was doing some research. It's and so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing some research, and I saw this Reddit thread that it begins with the question: Are there any women that actually love being a mom? And I kind of laughed at first, and I was like. Oh, okay. But I think this person yeah, is uh, actually being very seriously. Sincere. If you'd have left that on the printer, it would have been like. Whose is this? Is what someone the? having a bad day? <laughs> like, if anybody needs to talk, like, yeah. just, we'll get you tea. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's going to help? <laughs> but, okay. yeah, I, I don't know what this person's story is. I'm assuming they're a young person and they're, they're asking genuinely. They, they say, I know this may sound like a crazy question, but most of the moms I talk to complain about how hard it is to be a mother and how they wish they had more time to themselves. I've read several articles that state that mothers and fathers are less happier than childless individuals. So I'm curious, do any of you moms that. enjoy spending time with your kids? Are any of you actually happier now that you have kids? And so, which I, again, I kind of laughed, but the responses are so moving. Uh, peop- I mean, all the... That never happens on the internet either, so let's recognize <laughs> I know this miracle. I know, I mean, and there's all this... Reddit always... turned, like, ask a question that was loaded, and you got good responses. Wholesome answers. Let's hear them. There's so many. Um, <laughs> I've always loved being a mom, and, I, like, I love being a mom. You can love hard things. You can be exhausted or frustrated or whatever by something and still love it. I absolutely love being a mom. It's the very best thing that has ever happened to me. I've been a mom for almost 19 years now. Honestly, I can't remember how it was before I became a mom. I don't remember what it is to not think about them, worry about them, do everything I can for them. They are such a big part of me, of who I am today. It's true. Let's go. That, that happens. It's just like so, so wholesome. And there was uh, there was this one that I saw that, that made me laugh. It was also really amazing. It, it was a man and he said, I'm not a mom, I'm an uncle. I immediately laughed. I was like, okay, so what are you about to say? And he, he, I guess he's really involved in his nieces and nephews' lives. And he says it's really, really hard. Um, They, you know, they get sick and they make a mess and they're really noisy. But it is the most worthwhile thing when you see them learn to read and you see them accomplish something and... And I was like, oh. then it goes to, to like the mm-hmm. whole point of how it takes a village and how a child is any, only a blessing for the parent and makes a parent. It has the ability to make a parent a better person, but the people around you can become better people too for caring for for one another. And that's that's what the Bible teaches us in 1 Corinthians 10, 23 through 24. It says, I have the right to do anything, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. And I genuinely think that the Lord you know, designed us this way, that whenever we love other people, especially the youngest of, of our families, uh, the people who we really pour into, the, the Lord pours back into us. And it, it's so much better to do good for others than to just live your whole life, you know, doing things that are permissible, like like never having kids or, you know, not like just doing everything surrounded around your wants and needs that that's okay. You can do that, I guess. But what the Lord has in store for you of being selfless and sacrificing for the needs of your children. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. 
And you can fulfill that in any state in life, too. Mm -hmm. So with this, like, village mentality, whenever I heard that an uncle was commenting on, like, (laughs) do any women, like, actually enjoy motherhood? And it's like, oh, this uncle is going to come in and comment on motherhood. (laughs) But we need to celebrate that because that is somebody who uh, is taking an active role Mm -hmm. in, like, helping a family with their children. And, like, he's his life has benefited. The children's lives and the parents' lives have been um, impacted because they have this extra set of hands. They have this extra person who's going to be a role model. And anybody can mm-hmm. do that, whether maybe you're an empty nester and all of your kids are away from home and it's like, okay, well, what, what am I going to do now? Um, or like if you're single and you don't have, uh, you know, a family to like go and take care of babies, like you can uh, reach out to maybe a young family at your church and say, hey, if you ever need a babysitter or something or like, um, Sometimes at my church, people will be like in line to go talk to the priest or something like that. And I'm like, hey, do you want me to watch your kids while you go and have this conversation? Like it can be simple things like that, but we all need to live this like village mentality and take our pro-life ethic everywhere and celebrate parenthood. So we were having a conversation last night. Some of my uh, friends who work with our Royal Ranger group um, talking about how you, you have to have another parent or another adult that spiritually represents your point of view to your children, not just like that, because there does come that age with your children where they're just like, mom and dad are idiots. I know everything. And they won't, they don't want to listen to you when they're getting out of line. But there's always some other adult who can be saying the exact same thing you're saying, but when they say it, it's cool. So if you, can be that adult to somebody else's kid, your friend's child, the other couple in church, like in in our church, my middle child thinks the worship pastor is the coolest guy. (laughs) He's pretty cool. I mean, he's pretty awesome guy. But he's the coolest guy on the planet. And he can tell her, no, you like you need to fix this thing. You know, school, you got to focus on this school thing. You've got to, I'm like, I've been saying this for weeks and I just <laughs> don't care. Like, Dad's a loser. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But oh, Lance said it. And it's like, oh, I got to get on this. Like, it's kind of like that Gen okay, Z, like whatever. silent walking trend <clears throat> yeah. where it's like, okay, well, just yeah. because you made it, like you put a different brand on it. Now it's cool. It's, yeah. Yes. So. Yes. There, I can look back at my life and realize there were other adults who did that in my life who said the same thing. My mom was probably trying to get through my skull and I'd listen to it from them and not from her. And so if you're in the church and you first be in the church to be that adult in some child's life, because <laughs> boy, we all need that around. Yeah. And so. challenge yourself to, to love others. I mean, and not, we're talking about parenting, we're talking about raising kids in, in a village and everything, but just in general, loving other people well is so good for you. Challenging yourself mm-hmm. to not think about yourself all the time is really good for you. Yeah. Truth. Incredible. And how do we wrap up the all of this based content from our celebrities, from <laughs> Reddit? Based. There's that word again. I That's been my word of the stop. day. It's almost Thanksgiving, so based is a thing, I guess. You're welcome. (laughs) Wow. I will see myself out. Hey, you can reference our other podcast episode about how dad jokes are good for you. So you're welcome. It's science. (laughs) Yes. It is science. Trust the experts. I think YouTube will bump us in the algorithm, actually. Like if we say, trust the experts, follow the science. What other things are there? Okay. Well, those are, we'll say it a couple more times. Trust the experts, follow the science. Yeah. So, okay, good. This this video will get more seen than the others. I, 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 yeah. I'll bet you a cup of coffee. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Because Kim doesn't drink coffee. Yeah, that's a fair bet. I can say that all day long. Okay, friends, so go be a good parent, be a good uncle, aunt, adult in the lives of other children. Be a good good example and you'll find it makes you a better person. Weird how that design works.